G'day mates, today's video is sponsored by sleephq.com. On SleepHQ, you can upload and share your CPAP data with anyone and from any device that can read an SD card, visit sleephq.com and sign up for a free account today. All right, let's do this. Now, it was five months ago when old mate Uncle Nico, yours truly, broke the story and started warning people that pretty soon, hundreds of thousands of ResMed AirSense 10 and AirCurve devices would stop transmitting data when the major cell carriers finally shut down their 3G networks. And well, my friends, the ResMed 3G data apocalypse has officially begun. And that original video, it's blowing up as thousands of ResMed users search Google and ask Siri why their AirSense 10 is no longer transmitting data to the My Air app. What's going on? Hey Siri, why is my Air app not working again? Because it's shit. Now, for those of you that don't know, ResMed machines are cloud connected right out of the box. And as soon as you switch it on, it starts transmitting data wirelessly via the cell towers. And it does this using an internal cellular modem. Now, the problem is many of these machines have a 3G version of that cell modem. So now the major cell carriers are shutting down that 3G network. The 3G cell modem no longer works. And this means patients can no longer transmit data wirelessly to the ResMed My Air app on their phone, but they can no longer transmit data wirelessly to ResMed's remote patient monitoring platform, AirView, which is used by many doctors, clinicians, retailers to monitor their patients, but also change their patient's settings and pressure levels remotely. And this is an important point. Many of you will have 4G modems, so this won't affect you. But if you want to check, just to be sure, then click the link above and watch my video, which shows you how to check what modem is inside your device. And for some of you with 3G modems, this also might not be a big deal. You might not even use wireless data transmission. You might not have the My Air app on your phone, and you might not have a doctor who monitors your therapy remotely via AirView. But for hundreds of thousands of users and many businesses, this is a big deal, and it's a royal pain in the ass, and one that was completely avoidable. Hear me out. There's an estimated 14 million commercial drivers in the US alone, and hundreds of thousands of these commercial drivers have sleep apnea, and they need to show CPAP compliance in order to keep their jobs. Now, this is mostly done via remote reporting, which requires, yes, you guessed it, wireless data transmission. It's virtually an automatic process that requires very little effort on behalf of the driver. With no data transmission, all of these truckies and drivers with 3G modems now have to manually report their CPAP compliance. The driver is now responsible for retrieving and sending their CPAP data. And if you're an interstate truck driver or perhaps a pilot, it's a pain in the ass. Furthermore, over in the US, g'day guys, I know Medicare and Medicaid and other insurers partially cover CPAP machines for sleep apnea patients, provided they meet certain conditions. Reporting patient CPAP compliance to the insurance providers is once again mostly done via remote patient monitoring, very little effort. This reporting will now have to be completed manually, which means more emails, more phone calls, more appointments, and a whole lot more work. And here's an important one. Many clinicians use AirView to remotely change their patient's settings, their pressure levels, their humidifier levels, all those sorts of things. This will all have to be done manually now or over the phone. And those in the industry know, trying to explain to a deaf 80 year old how to change his humidifier levels over the phone is an absolute nightmare, let alone pressure levels. Let's not go there. So there you have it. That's just a few of the many reasons why this 3G shutdown is a big deal. And those who think it's not a big deal are really out of touch with the thousands of CPAP users and industry professionals affected by it. What's really frustrating for me is ResMed has known this day was coming for a really long time now, but I'm yet to see any official statement. There's no patient communication, no posts on their socials. So all their customers are just really confused. And once again, they've left it up to old mate Nico to tell their customers what the bloody hell is going on. It's pathetic. 
For those of you paying attention, probably not many, you might have heard me say a little earlier that this whole mess was completely avoidable. Well, let's expand on that a little. We all know Philips has a lot of issues. That's an understatement. But the 3G shutdown is not one. If you having Resume. problems, I feel bad for you, son. I, I got, got 99, 99 problems, problems, but a 3G ain't one. The Dream Station, which up until PhoneGate was one of my favorite machines, has various modes of wireless data transmission. It's already equipped with Bluetooth, but you can also connect an external Wi-Fi or cellular modem to suit your needs. If you have a 3G modem, you can easily exchange it with a 4G one, or you get a Wi-Fi modem and connect it up to your home internet. Problem solved. With ResMed, you can't do that. There is no Bluetooth, there is no Wi-Fi, and the cellular modem is internal, so you have to take apart the machine to change it. The question therefore needs to be asked. ResMed knew this day was coming. They've already been through it once before with the 2G shutdown. So why on earth would they not include any other means for data transmission when manufacturing the AirSense 10? And why did they internalize the cellular modem making it difficult to change? I'll share with you my theory and it's pure speculation, but many of you would know I'm really far away from the truth. Here's a quote from old mate Sexy Mick, the CEO of ResMed back in May 2019. Quote, We've got 9,100,000% cloud-connectable medical devices on people's bedside tables. It's the most expensive real estate in the world. It's not here, overlooking Sydney Harbour. This is cheap. Your bedside table, everyone wants to be there. Apple would love to put your phone there and have an app listening to you all night. We're already there. End quote. Fast forward to 2022, and it's probably more like 15 million devices, maybe more. You see, 100% of ResMed devices cloud connected via the cellular modem right out of the box. As soon as you switch them on, they automatically start transmitting all your health data directly to ResMed. And there's no easy way to turn it off. And this is by design. They did this on purpose. As you just heard old mate Mick say, the most expensive real estate in the world is your bedside table and they're on it. Personally, I don't know how they get away with it. I mean, they're collecting and using all your health data without your consent and giving you no option to opt out. Give me a break. So ResMed is responsible for the problem. They dug this great big data hole for themselves. They went digging for data gold with their cellular modem shovels and they found it. But in the process, they hit a 3G sewage pipe and now they've got some serious shit on their face. We gotta finish this movie. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Surely ResMed must have known that this day would come. And if so, why would they do it? Doesn't this contradict my hypothesis? Well, not exactly. Things just didn't play out for ResMed the way they had hoped. You see, way back in 2014, when ResMed was first releasing the AirSense 10, they're thinking by the time 2022 rolls around, most of those users will be upgrading to the AirSense 11. And switching off 3G won't be a problem. It'll be good for business. It will provide an incentive for those patients with outdated AirSense 10 machines that are no longer transmitting data to upgrade to the new AirSense 11. The plan made perfect sense. The big spanner, however, in ResMed's cellular master plan was the pandemic and the Philips recall. This has caused huge supply chain issues and also component shortages. And one of those components, yes, you guessed it, the 4G cellular modems that ResMed has built their whole entire infrastructure around. And that, my dear friends, is how we have ended up where we are today, the 3G data apocalypse. Now, here where I live in Australia, the land down under, you can't get an AirSense 11, they're not here yet. You can't even get a 4G AirSense 10. All we're left with is the shitty old 3G versions, but fortunate for us, 3G isn't being shut down for a couple more years. But when that time does come, well, we'll be up shit creek without a 4G paddle too. All right, so what's the solution? Well, you're looking at him. Old mate Uncle Nico, the CPAP saviour. I came to the rescue with the Philips recall, taught you all how to remove all that toxic foam, and I'm here again to save you from the ResMed 3G data apocalypse. 
I've created a special online platform called Sleep HQ with my best mate Adam, who's a developer. And using Sleep HQ, you can easily upload your SD card data directly to the cloud on any device, including mobile and tablet. And then with a click of a button, you can invite anyone from anywhere in the world via email to view your report. Invite your DME, invite your doctor, you can even invite yours truly. I'll quickly show you. So here we are on the dashboard over at Sleep HQ. Let's import some data. So I've taken the SD card out of my CPAP machine and I've put it in an SD card reader connected with my computer. Now the process is quite similar for mobile phone and tablets. You just need to get an on the go SD card reader. And we have a few tutorials in the help center that will get you started. So over here on the right hand side, I have all the files and folders that are on my ResMed AirSense 10 SD card. And I've just got to upload them to Sleep HQ. So we go over to data imports on the left hand side, and then we just select all the files and folders on our SD card and drag them across onto the little folder. As you can see, I've added 1,759 files. I can now begin the upload. So click begin upload. Now it may take a little time, depending on how much data you have on your SD card, but uh, just stay on this page, go make a cup of tea, and Sleep HQ will do the rest. And there you can see the upload is complete. From there, we can go back to the dashboard and have a look at some of our data. So this is fantastic, it shows all our data. We can go to our trend data, it's 30 days, custom, whatever we like, and it's gonna give us all our data. Now the beautiful thing about Sleep HQ is you can share your profile with anyone anywhere in the world. Just come over to account members, click invite new account member, put in their email address, first name, last name, create invitation, and that'll send that user an email with a link to view all your data. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, please hit that like button and share it with your mates and subscribe to the channel for more helpful content. And I'll leave you now with a quote from old mate Albert Einstein. In the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Sleep well, look after your mates, bye.